Thanks very much. Uh, what I'd like to do for you today is uh, catapult a cabbage through the air and catch it on a spike on my head. Uh, <laughs> thank you, I thought of it all by myself. Uh, <laughs> now, look, I know what you're all thinking. Uh, Luke Skywalker meets albino Mick Jagger. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Relax, you're among like-minded friends. Uh, 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 I designed this about 10 years ago uh, using the knowledge that I gleaned from my two years of first-year engineering. <laughs> yeah. um, and since then, I've, I've traveled around the world uh, doing what you're about to see. Um, I've performed in 13 English-speaking countries uh, in every province of Canada, um, <laughs> which, which is pretty much the same distance covered, if you think about it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I've settled in London now. I've lived in London for six years. I, London's an incredible city where people from around the world and different cultures, they all kind of come together to avoid eye contact. <laughs> which is a... You have to respect that. Uh, so yeah, my, my catapult is, is pretty simple, but I would like to share with you one thing quickly before I, I move on. The word catapult is really cool. It's an English word, but it's made up of two smaller Latin words. The Latin word apult, which means to throw, and the Latin word cat, meaning cat. <laughs> now, the, the English originally designed catapults in order to hurl cats at the French, because they didn't like cats or the French, and then this turns out to be a really good solution to both of those problems. Uh, my catapult is, uh, is pretty simple. I'm just going to uh, get this out of the way here. Um, it's powered by these uh, high-quality Norco brand bicycle inner tubes. That's an 18-inch bike inner tube. This is what holds the air in your bmx size bike tire. Um, they're super stretchy, and uh, I use them like this, which is obviously not what the manufacturer had in mind. And uh, because I use them like this, they rip and they tear and they break, and I have to replace them pretty much everywhere I go. And at some point, I thought to myself, you know, wouldn't it be great if I could eliminate that cost from my life entirely? If maybe in exchange for mentioning the Norco brand bicycle inner tube. <laughs> I could get free Norco brand bicycle inner tubes from the, the people who make them. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I called them up and I told them my idea and they said, hey Mike, listen, we, the Norco brand bicycle inner tube people, <laughs> would really rather not be mentioned in the Crazy Catapult show. <laughs> so, I'm still buying them. Uh, now, of course, catapults don't see a lot of use in military actions anymore, uh, except in the Canadian Army. Uh, our troop has a catapult that he uses from time to time. And as, that, as a result of this, there are very few trained catapult operators in the world today. Uh, so few, in fact, that I would, be I would not be surprised at all if there were none in the audience here today. Uh, now, so I'm not, I'm, I am going to need someone to help me out uh, I'm not asking for you to be fully trained, but there are some, some characteristics that you must have, some pre-qualifying pre characteristics. If you want to be Mike Wood's catapult operator here today, you need to be female, 18 to 35, single with your own apartment. <laughs> there are any. Actually, would you mind coming up and joining me? That'd be great. Let's bring her up with a round of applause. Hi, thank you. Y your name is? Hi, Becky. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Becky is a beautiful name. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to look so good in granite. <laughs> now, <laughs> thank you. Okay, now, uh, Becky, it's pretty simple. You're going you're gonna to be standing right here, okay? In the catapult operating area. You're going to be holding onto this rope. Uh, and uh, you'll notice right now the catapult doesn't look super dangerous. It's in its sprung position. Later on, it's going to be in a cocked down position. And uh, the danger is that it could move rapidly from cocked into sprung. And, and when that happens, you don't want to be leaning into what I've named the face ripping area. <laughs> so, so no leaning. No, we do need you in the catapult operating area for reasons that will become clear. Now, I've made you feel unsafe, so I'm going to get you some safety equipment here. This is a <laughs> safety vest. Uh, if you just like to slip this on, you can just drop the rope, that's fine. It will actually fit a little bit better if we can get you get out of the shirt. No? Okay. <laughs> just slip that on. 
Now, Becky, don't worry about it too much, because as anyone here can tell you, there's absolutely no safety in that vest. Where the real safety is going to come is in these Norco brand oh safety underpants. So if you just like, uh, it's all right, don't worry about it. It's a, I will, I will. It's a 40 pound sight gag. Um, now I'm going to, sorry, I'm just going to slip past you here, Becky. This is a cabbage. I'm going to load that in here. I'm going to cock the catapult. And then we'll be off to the races. Okay. Now, <clears throat> a catapult operating area where you're standing is perfect. Hold on, we've created some kind of knot situation. There we go. So, you're going to have to pull on the rope pretty hard. Not super hard, but pretty hard. And what we would ask is uh, that you have your left foot up on the frame of the catapult. That's right, right there on the blood stain. Perfect. <laughs> now, you need to pull pretty hard, not super hard, but pretty hard. And because you're pulling so hard, you need to step down equally hard. Because if those two forces are not equal and opposite, the whole catapult will swivel, Newton's second law kicks in, and the whole catapult will swivel and ah! coal slaughter. Okay? I'm just gonna slip this on here. This is my cabbage catching helmet. I'm gonna be over here. Remember, the whole audience is gonna count one, two, three, pull. When you hear them say pull, you'll pull. Okay, let's have a big round of applause for Becky, just in case she doesn't survive. Here we go, everybody all together, and... One, two, three, pull! Thank you very much. Thanks, Becky. I never said it was hard. I thought of it first, and then I made it interesting. Thank you.